Right, so here we go again. Um, in this video, I'm hoping to run the engine again to test the lever seals. Um, I also want to test the, the noise output using this device here. And also, um, I want to test our new water pump. Right, so this is our new water pump. One of my colleagues at work kindly um, sold it to me for a very reasonable price. This is a Stuart number 26 it says um i can't really find any information on this water pump so if anybody does uh, happen to know anything about it and I'm, I'm very interested to know uh, so we got a pipe there so this is the um uh, this is a feed pump uh, feed pipe to the pump and then this is the pipe coming out so that's the outlet this is the inlet that's the outlet and we have my father has bought a water um feature um bucket or trough or a pond liner, I think they call it. Um, we've put a pipe fitting in the side of it, like so. It is driven off the engine via a V-belt. So if we turn it over like that, pump turns. So hopefully that will work. Right, I've um, I've attached the V-belt together using this method of um, drilling two holes and pushing wire through, and then wrapping it back on itself. Um, I found a very good YouTube video of this, um, and so far it's holding up um, okay. Um, how long it will last, I do not know, but um, that's something to find out. Right, so as in the last video, we've now got the um, lever, lever seals fitted. So that's two lever seals per cylinder. Um, they are lip seal type. Um, one of the lips is pointing down, and one of the lips is pointing up. Um, this is to try and reduce friction on the pistons. Right, there's our fire at the moment, so we're just getting some heat there. I'll just put a bit of more coal in it a second. This is smokeless coal. I use this at home to try and not annoy the neighbours too much. That'll do. Should we bring gloves for this? Right, what we have here is a flow meter and um, hopefully we should be able to use this to actually measure the, the water output of the pump. Um, so you see the scale here. So how this works is um, the water goes in the top through the gauze, um, presumably to stop the turbulence of the water as it's going through. And then we've got a scale here. In So litres per minute, it does between 5 litres per minute all the way up to 50. Um... We've also got a pressure gauge as well, so this will do flow and pressure. So there's potential that we can connect that as well, and um, so we should be able to get the pressure of the water uh, and the flow of the water. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to connect the pressure gauge in this particular run, um, but we'll see what we can do. I'm just going to run it for a little bit, um, I'm going to let the lever seals um, bed in a little bit and I'm going to let the pump uh, just sort of wear itself in a little bit, I don't think it's been used for quite a while, um, so I've, I've just pumped some grease into it um, and then we'll turn the water on and, and see what it actually pumps. Right, so we've got the engine going at a feral lick at the moment, um, the pump is merrily spinning away. Uh, we've got a bit of a leak here, um, well, I'm sure we can solve that. Uh, lever seals are uh, doing okay. At the moment, I'll just show you how much uh, water is flowing. So it's a casual flow of water. At the moment. I'll, um, I'll just turn the engine up a little bit. It's blowing a little bit more water at the moment. Uh, something else to note is uh, we've actually turned the pump around 
Uh, so the bleed hole on top is um, at the top, so it self bleeds itself. Also, the outlet is on the top, so it, um, it automatically bleeds itself and pumps the air out of the pump. So there's our flow meter at the moment, so it's pumping uh, 40 litres per minute, and that is about uh, 5, 6, 7, uh, seven and a half gallons a minute. Right, we've got a pressure gauge on it. Um, I mean, this is with the, the water flow at pretty much zero, other than this little trickle coming out. Um, so we turn it off, the valve here. So, and the needle just about moves. Um, so we've got a few a few PSI there, but nothing more. And when we open it, the needle reseats down at zero again. There you go. Got well it. Just about enough pressure to wash the cart. <laughs> One more thing I wanted to do was to see how noisy the engine is. So I got my decibel meter here. I'm stood at five meters. And it's reading uh, on average 70 decibel, about 70 decibel. I'll move a little bit quicker, uh, closer, sorry, uh, and quicker. <laughs> uh, so right up close, we're seeing about 80 decibel. Um, I'll just walk a bit further away. Chipping over various things in my garden. Alright, so about 10 meter distance. Uh, it's down to about ooh, average of 68, maybe average 68. Uh, yeah, about 68, I think. If I turn the angle of it, it does change things a little bit. So there you go. Um, we're kind of wondering whether gearing the pump up slightly would um, help the situation. Uh, I might try and get a slight, the smallest pulley I can on it, um, just to get the pump spinning out a little bit quicker. Uh, there is an option of having uh, the second shaft here, or the yeah, second shaft, and having it during off that. Um, but uh, I might just change the pulley for the moment.